Hello and welcome to Entirely Jojo. I'm back. I think I took a month off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is this plugged in? Hello? Okay, but let's get right into this haul. So, my stuff are primarily skincare. It's my biggest concern this year has been skincare. I am not wearing makeup like I used to, so the items that I've gotten from Sephora is going to be primarily skincare for a while until I get back into, you know, going out into the world. Okay, where do we start? The Fenty Skin Flash Nap. Instant Revital Eye Gel Cream plus an eye massager tool. I had to get the eye massager tool. When I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, how cute. I love um, using a roller and just putting it in the fridge and rolling my cheekbones and in that general area. So when I saw there was something for the eye, I had to get it. Now the difference between buying it without and with the massager is going to be um, $8. I don't know if it will be a value of $8 for you, but this was a value of $8 for me and I'm very excited about it. So you just roll it under your eye and this is your little skin, Fenty Skin Flash Nap Instant Revival Priming Eye Gel. And it has 0.5 fluid ounces. And if you would like to buy this alone, it is $34 as opposed to $42. The reason why I bought this, I was struggling with extremely dark spots around my eyes. I wasn't sleeping well, I wasn't, it was, it was a thing. But, so I had a lot of darkness around my eyes and then I got something in my eye and I have a tendency to roll whatever it is. I try to roll it out of my eye like that and I give myself these dark spots, big old dark spot plus the darkness around my eyes and I hate and I was just trying to figure something out. So I actually have two items here for under eye care. I never really do under eye care. So I did do a little bit of a research and came to the conclusion of three items. I picked up two of them. The other one was really expensive. So I just got these two to see and you'll see the next one soon. But this is supposed to be hydrating and good for anti-aging and good for dark spots. So this was my pick. You will be seeing a video on this Soon. Continue to move with the eye situation. This is the other item that I picked up for my eye. I love Ola Hendrickson because I love the smell. I do like fragrance. But when I saw that they had an eye gel cream, I had to try it. This is supposed to target and blur the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Plus promotes firmness. This is what the bottle looks like right here. It has a little bit of silkiness. It feels very, 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 very silky. So I'm very excited to talk to you guys about that. Now sticking with the Ola Hendrickson, like I said, it's one of my favorite brands. So I did pick up three other items from them. This is the Dutopia 20% Acid Night Treatment. And I really like a good nighttime treatment to fix your skin while you're sleeping. That way you're not touching, you're not being out in the air. This does have 10% AHAs and 10% PHAs and lemon enzymes. So all of these are a little bit harsh on the skin, but I do really, really, really like this so far. I am still testing it, but I will be doing a review on this. And sticking again with the Ola Hendrickson, I love a good scrub. So um, lately I've been getting a lot of dirt and grime on my face as I've been going out. So it felt really good about a scrub to help me feel like I've really gotten all that out. This is a scrub from Ola Hendrickson. This is the Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. Exfoliates with AHAs and lemon peel extract. I really, really, really like this. And I think this is going to be my new exfoliating. The other one that I really like is also Ola Hendrickson. It's green. It's Sahana Sahara, something like that. I can't quite remember. But it gives you like a heating effect. Like you feel heat as you're you're rubbing in a little bit of graininess. And I always really, I love a good scrub. I really feel like I'm getting everything off. But again, you'll be seeing a review probably with all three of these coming really, really, really soon. Okay, my last Ola Hendrickson product that I bought was the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I really like the Truth Serum from Ola Hendrickson. It smells nice, it leaves this nice dewy, glowy feeling, and I just wanted to know, because this was so much bigger, if this was going to be able to replace this. I believe this is $50, 
and this one is 68 if I was incorrect I'll fix it on the screen but this is $68 I know that for a fact but the smell is good the smell is it's good it's really good that's another video you'll be seeing I will be testing these video these two to see if this is going to be better and if this is going to be able to replace what I currently have been using for the last two or three years all right so a couple other things that I tried from companies that I'm not used to like I said I always love Fenty and I always love Ola Hendrickson but I wanted to try some other things I have a very annoying issue with my skin when I break out break out when I have a zit or a blemish or whatever you want to call it I always am left with a lovely dark spot specifically I tend to break in the exact same spot I get a bump here and here then I've been starting to get a lot of bumps on my neck also and a little bit on my what is this what is this what is this jawline <laughs> I've been looking for things I've been looking this I've been looking for things forever so some of the ingredients that I looked up did not have a Sephora clean but I knew that they were a little bit on the cheaper side and they were a little bit more potent but I decided to go ahead and get them. I have not tried these yet, but I'm going to show you what they are. I picked up this ordinary, and I'm not going to butcher this word, so I'm just going to show you the word. Okay, that's the word. Plus zinc 1%, high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. I am very curious. Now, like I said, I don't like that it doesn't have the clean, the Sephora clean on it. I'm a little bit hesitant and concerned about that, but it's okay. It's going to be, it's going to be okay. I haven't tried it yet but I picked this up I also picked up this by the ordinary and um, alpha R butin 2% and HA I'm not quite sure I'm not but this is something that I picked up and I will be doing some more research on if I don't like these I won't cry it is this was $16 I lost $16 if I don't like these so we should be okay like I said they don't have clean so I'm a little hesitant but we'll see we'll see we'll see Another item that I found when I was looking for things to help with blemishes and hyperpigmentation specifically, I saw this item called Hyper. Hyper. Um, Hyper Even Brightening Dark Spot Vitamin C Serum. But I'm very curious about this. I'm really, really excited to try it. It was, it's tiny. It is very small, but it, it's, it's jelly. It kind of, it's like jelly. Ooh jelly oily it's oily it feels oily it has a little gel and then it kind of oils down on me we'll see about this but it kind of like leaves a nice like even my palm is kind of shiny and glowy right now so we shall see about that i will be trying this i'm very excited about these things the thing is like i've been trying something else i'm gonna leave that to last to show you that seems to have been helping with the dark spots so and that's part of the reason why I haven't even tried this yet. Yes, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if I even need to be... Maybe I'll just focus on the parts that are just not happening, which are the, my neck, the dark spots that I'm getting on my neck. I'll probably focus... We'll see. But they're coming. These videos are coming, okay, people? They're coming. We'll step away from skincare real quick. I just picked up this. Um, this is the only makeup item that I picked up. This is the NARS Radiant Creaming Concealer in the color Amand. $32, I believe, or is it $30? How much were you? $31, so it's close. $31, it's very tiny. I usually get the Born This Way concealer. This is what I'll be trying for the next bit. It seems to match my skin really well, which is what I really want because like I said, I don't wear a lot of makeup. So if I can just pop this on a dark spot and go about my business, that is what I want. So. There's that. The other item that is not skincare that I picked up. Okay, so first, this is not what I picked up. I just wanna show you this. This is my comb, okay? I love this comb. I've had this comb for a while, you know, three or four years. It is a wide tooth comb, and I've had problems with, you know, my hair getting snagged, um, tender-headed, so, you know, anything that's too much, I basically want to cry. So this has been really, really, really good. Plus it's better to use a wide tooth comb if you are even going to use a comb when you're washing or detangling your hair. But I was on Sephora and just minded my business and I found a comb, okay? I found the pattern. Do you see the picture? So you look at the picture and you're like, oh, there's no way it's that big. Like, look at this. There's no way it's that big. There's no way. And you open it 
okay? You open the box and look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look how fancy. It's so fancy. Okay, so you pull this out and it is that big. It is, it is, it is. It's, it's, it's actually, you know, bigger. It's actually bigger. Look at how wide these, look at that. Look how wide. Now look at this. This first hook is about the same, right? But that's all. After that, we lose, we lose, we lose the fight. Look at that. For every three, almost, is one of these. This is a wide tooth comb. And then it has this little indentation right here where you can put your thumb. Look at it. It's wonderful. I'm actually so pleased with this. Um, how much did I pay for this? Um, let's see. I actually bought one for my mom too because I was like, mom, <laughs> you must have this. $15. $15 for a good comb. I'm not mad at that. I'm not. Especially if this, like, this is harder. This is hard plastic. It's not flimsy. It does have some good weight to it. So I feel like this is going to last quite a long time. Um, like I said, I'm really, really excited. So you'll be seeing, I'm sure you've actually already seen a video with this in there, but this is, this will be my comb. This is probably going to become my shower one. And this is going to be my dry hair comb. That's probably what's going to happen. But it's very exciting. Very, very, very exciting. Now this is an empty bottle almost okay do you see this this is basically empty it's a little bit under half this is kale plus green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser and i love it okay i absolutely love this this lives in my shower when i'm in the shower i just go ahead and use it it says use one to two times a day for time period for about two or three weeks this is really all i was doing for skincare it was this and then I didn't I didn't put anything else. I just kind of just did this. And this is great. I absolutely love this. So you will see a video on this soon. Love, 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 love. Final item. Like I said, I've been working on my dark spots. My biggest concern was literally my dark spots. So in my search for dark spot cures, I came out with this Peace Out Dark Spots. And it has this cute little packaging, okay? It comes like this, has a little, two little packages in here. They're um, empty now because your video is coming with this. But I am not mad. I believe I had 24 in here. No, 12. 12 dissolving and you will see, oh, I should, maybe I'll pop a piece in somewhere. Little dots came in this little clear, thing and then you went ahead you put the dots on the dark spots you left it there for eight hours and then you took it off and the dark spots are better i'm wondering i this, i was going to do this video without any concealer or makeup on but it was just a little bit pronounced i had them on recently and because they were on there for a while and my skin is a little bit sensitive to like pressure and anything like that i had um to circles I had circles right here I wonder if you can see I can't see from here if you can see on the camera but it does leave a little spot for a little while so if you are doing this I well I want to review I want to review we'll do a review soon on these and I think that's everything that is everything so that's my little haul with my one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve um with my twelve items that I bought but I hope this video was interesting for you. Um, I hope this might get you a little excited for a couple of my videos coming up. If it does, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you are notified when I do post. I will try to be better. I'm, my plan is two weeks, every two weeks. That is the plan. Eventually, I'm gonna to get to the point where it's every week like I, I initially had it, but I'm telling you, life is crazy. You can't plan anything. That's why they say, you know, God laughs at your plans. You can't plan. So I'm going to do the absolute best that I can. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I'm really excited about a couple of these videos that are coming out soon, especially like this one. I hope you guys will really like it. So yes, so thank you so much for the people that have subscribed to me. I am overly excited. You have no idea. I'm so shocked and thank you so much for the love and thank you so much for the subscriptions. It makes me feel good about continuing to try to do this and try to do better at it. I'm so sorry for not being consistent. I'm trying to juggle life work and YouTube.
it's a lot. But I'm, it's, it's okay, it's gonna happen. I'm, I'm, I would like to have 35 videos within my first year of being on YouTube, so I have quite a bit to go. And um, I have about seven videos that are just not edited right now. So I'm, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. Thank you so much for being patient with me. And um, I love you guys, I love you guys. But that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something interesting and maybe you want to check out and I hope you come back to see the reviews for this. Thank you again so much for watching and have a great day. I guess I'll just put a little bit in my hand. Do I have a napkin in here? Okay, which is the Fenty... Again, like I said, I have 50 million videos for you guys. I just have to edit them. And, uh... Ooh. Shirt is I really, you know these little things right here? I want to rip it off, but then I feel like my shirt will hang. But it's not staying. I'm, I'm using the mic, little brother. I'm using the mic. It is over there, so hopefully. I hate this crap. This is why I don't plug myself.